is going on there, guys? Welcome back to the Rant Review Gaming. And uh, as you can probably see on the screen right now, switching it up a little bit this week. We're doing something different. We are doing Mike Tyson's Punch Out this week. It's a little break between the Mass Effect games. We're doing a little old school stuff here, a little old school flavor. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, of course, definitely hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell so other people know about these videos that we do online on the YouTube and Twitch. Thank to anybody who's uh, going to happen to the chat during the live stream. This one's probably going to be very short. Now, we're going to break this up into uh, the three circuits uh, for the game. There's a minor circuit, the major circuit, and the other circuit, or whatever whatever they are. So we're definitely going to uh, to go through that. Um, a little history on the, this game. Uh, this is one of the uh, perennial games from the original Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, one of the more popular ones. It was a fun game. I played this probably, I, was, I, got, I must have been five or six years old when I was playing this a lot. It is so funny to see these graphics now, <laughs> um, which were all revolutionary at the time. But uh, I like I like these little uh, sprite graphics. They're always so much fun. The little blocks and everything else. 1987 Nintendo. Actually, I was a little bit older then. I was probably about 10 years old then when this came out. And um, yeah, I played this a lot. Uh, it was very hard to beat Mike Tyson. I remember that. And I remember that this game is mostly about timing and mostly about knowing... Uh, when to hit, when, when not to hit, when to punch, when, when to not counter punch, and um, everybody's little 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 patterns that you had to memorize. You're starring Little Mac, Trainer Doc Lewis. I mean, I, I always thought that was a very unflattering picture of Mike Tyson, too, that they had in there. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to show you guys probably the best ways to beat some of these guys. Um, I Now, remember, I haven't played this in God knows how long. It's been a couple years. I played it a couple years ago. But the patterns, I don't remember them all. So this is going to be a... It's, gonna, it's, it's not quite a blind playthrough. Because I obviously have played this game many times before, but I forgot half the stuff. So let's see what we can do here. Let's start a new game and let's get started with Mike Tyson's Punch Out. All right, so here in the minor circuit from Bronx, New York, at age 17, weight 107 pounds, zero wins, zero losses, zero knockouts, ranked number three. I'm ranked, even though I've never had a fight. Uh, Little Mac. Yay! His opponent tonight, ranked number two, weighing in at 110 pounds, age 38, from Paris, France, Glass Joe. Ooh, with a record of 199. Now, I'm going to talk about this right now before we get into this game. Uh, for any younger people, uh, how do we say this politely? Uh, the word racist, <laughs> we've said that a lot in Mass Effect too. People are gonna, people today will find this game to be it's racist, um, because they, all your opponents are basically caricatures of different, uh, uh, people, ethnic groups, um, countries. I mean, this guy's from France, Glass Joe. The scuttlebutt for most of the 20th century was that you know the French weren't really great fighters, <laughs> so that's what they're kind of working on here, but. Let's give it a start. Uh, this is going to be fairly simple. So let's get through it. Alright. Now, last show, you just start attacking him. Blocks. Blocks low, you hit him high. Side. And you hit him on his glass jaw. Glass jaw, glass jaw. He got up in one. Wow. And uh, he, he made... Sometimes 
Sometimes he'll get up, sometimes he'll stay down. And again, we'll the uppercut. Of course, for those of you who are new to the game, the uppercut is the select button. Oh gosh, he's back. Usually he stays down the first one, but you get all the stars and you just knock him out of here. Fairly simple, fairly routine. And yes, that is Mario, who is the referee. Great fighting, you won by technical knockout. That should have been a lot shorter though, but I'll be ranked up to number two. Are you ready for the next challenge? I think we are. All right, like I said, this is gonna be a very short playthrough today because we're just going through the minor circuit, but here we go. Let's see, our next opponent is Von Kaiser. Scheiße from Berlin, Germany. I cannot do a, a German accent to save my life. But weighing 144 pounds, small guy, age 42, a bit over the hill. Uh, 23 wins, 13 losses, 10 by knockout. And uh, of course, this is a German stereotype. <laughs> so you'll see when the music starts. I mean, really? <laughs> He's kind of the same thing. So you just hit him high low. You get all these stars. And it, <laughs> it's like, again, it's really simple. Now, if he goes for his little punch, you can always. I usually just duck. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> These guys seem like they're going to go the distance with me today. All right, we'll just duck. Two, three, and duck. So there you go. Again, the minor circuit, fairly simple, fairly easy. Um, First two guys, you just attack and get stars. This ASCII music is just so, is, this is so funny to play. I, it seems like my muscle memory is there. Like I can feel it in the controller. Like I remember how to play and fight some of these guys. I'm sure as it gets a lo further along, I'm gonna forget stuff as it gets tougher. But let's go to. The title. All right. Oh my gosh. Yes, remember, remember guys, this was the 80s. And then in the 80s, <laughs> you could do this stuff with these stereotypes and nobody would really, I mean, some people would complain, but most people were like, it is what it is. But uh, weighing in at 174 pounds, age 28 from Tokyo, Japan. 26 wins, one loss, 18 by knockout. The champion of the minor circuit, Piston... Honda! Oh my god, what a name. Honda. Japanese guy. I mean, Jesus Christ. This will never fly today. Never fly today. I have not played the latest update of uh, this game to see what they did with these characters. Because I'm sure some of these people are like, that's too racist. So they they probably don't exist. I'm going to probably play the updated version at some point. This year. I mean, even the music. Literally saying, Chinese, Siamese, look at these. What's up, Scotty boy? So here, you wait for the uh, eyebrows. Hit him a couple times. Get some good points here. Avoid him. There you go. Again, this game is a lot about timing and memorizing patterns. Everybody's getting up at one though on this playthrough. This is really weird. Uh oh. Hey, you guys, let's see if I do it. Oh! Oops. I, you, I know you can't hit him in the stomach on that. I just timed it wrong. And he's dead. 
Skeddy Boy says, why is your character so tiny? Um, there is a reason for that. I'll talk about it as soon as this is done. this because that was way faster than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but yeah, Scotty Boy asks why is Little Mac so tiny? Well, his name's Little Mac, but the gaming reason for it is because uh, the character here, in order for you to see the other characters you're fighting, you get greater screen visibility by your character being so tiny so you can see the body movements of all of the fighters that you're fighting. And that's the reason why uh, Little Mac is so little. I think we'll just keep going through this then, because uh, this was only we were only ten minutes into this playthrough. I thought it would take longer, but uh, let's see. All right, let's train. kid we used to like love that music because uh, again you, you back in those days we did not have like the internet so to find out the tips and tricks you either had to had talk to your friends who were good at the game or you could get nintendo power and nintendo power would tell you how to beat some of these guys uh but now we're on a major circuit and weighing in at 152 pounds age 23 from madrid spain 22 wins and three knock three losses nine by knockouts the Spanish God. No, not Sammy Guevara. It is Don Flamenco. Flamenco. Yeah. Uh, nice hoodie. <laughs> it says Scotty. Yeah, the stereotypes. I'm telling you, man, this game, if they made this game today, people would be livid because every character is a stereotype. And this one is a stereotypical Spaniard, but let's get into it. I mean, really, the music, the rose in his mouth, I forgot how to play this guy, this is a little harder. Alright, let's see. Alright. I think you just keep going back and forth and get them all the way down. There you go, yep. I think you just keep going left, right, left, right, he'll just take, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it. <laughs> Oh, these old school games are hilarious. Look at Mario. Count them down, Mario. He's going left to right. He is... Oh, he's doing a little dance. A little shake, shake. A little shake, shake, dance. Is he staying down? Oh, nine. Oh, he's out. Wow. He even touched me. Yeah, Mario is the referee. That, that's Mario was the referee for a lot of the sports games for Nintendo back. I think he was the judge in a tennis game. He was he was in a lot of uh, official positions in Nintendo because he's Nintendo's mascot, so they put him in those positions. Brilliant marketing strategy. Who's next? Oh gosh, yes, King Hip King Hippo. Wait, unknown age, a unknown from Hippo Island in the South Pacific, which I. I'm like 99.9% .9 certain that that is not an actual place. Uh, 18 wins, 9 losses, 18 by knockout. So all of his wins came by knocking people out. He is ranked number 2, King Hippo. Hippo. Yeah, a lot of people have... Uh, this is where in the game, I remember in the old days, a lot of people had a hard time getting through this guy. And I know a friend of mine right now, 
Uh, we were playing this like three or four years ago, and they could not figure out to get past King Hippo. It is a little bit difficult if you don't know what to do, but I will show you. I've never played this game before. A lot of people try to punch him. You can't. You can't punch him. Not, not the way like you punch everybody else. Alright. Gotta just dodge. And then you gotta wait for that. Just keep hitting them. So got... Alright. You gotta do that. Otherwise, he blocks everything. You can't. You gotta know which one, when he's gonna do it. One thing about him, a little X on his stomach. Move. And I think we got him. There he goes. And this guy, once he's down, he does not get up. Mario pauses at 9, 10. I got I always thought it was funny they put a pause on him. So what's going on with you today, Scotty boy? Nice to see you in the chat. Uh, we won that fight. Again, uh, remember, King Hippo, wait for him to open his mouth. He'll pause for a second. Like, this game is, like, very much on timing. You have to watch, and as soon as you see his mouth open up, you got to punch. And then hit him in the stomach until he blocks. Keep doing it. He'll go down. He never gets back up once you knock him down. Uh, Scotty boy says, got to learn his pattern to defeat him. Yep, that is the truth with all of these guys. These I do remember this gets very complicated the later you get. So I might go past the major circuit, and then I think the top, the world circuit is... I, I might have to do some research to remember how to beat them. Oh, more stereotypes. Ranked number one here. A, uh, weight, 132 pounds. Age, 29. From Bombay, India. He comes in with a professional record of 24 wins, 5 Defeats three by knockout. The number one ranked fighter in the major circuit, Great Tiger. No relation to Tiger Mask, even though there's a, t a skin tiger. He's got a skin tiger in his corner. He's got a turban with a jewel in it. I mean, Nintendo didn't care about stereotypes, man. They did not care about. It. <laughs> you could not make this game today. Could not do it. <sighs> All right, let's see what's up. This is probably gonna be harder. Oh yeah. This has been, we are 20 minutes now into it. I got through this minor circuit really quickly and through the major circuit. Uh, so we are going to stop it here today. We will be back on Wednesday. We will fight bad bull here, bald bull here. Uh, so if you guys have enjoyed these playthroughs, again, this is a little minor playthrough I'm doing between Mass Effect games. 
Uh, definitely let me know down in the comment section. Scotty Boy, thank you for checking this out very quickly. Uh, again, I think the next playthrough is going to go about an hour because I'm probably going to lose most of the fights from here on out because I know Bald Bull is pretty tough. He's, he's when it gets kind of difficult. So until next time, thank you guys for checking it out. And I will see you guys next time here on the Rant and Review Gaming. Behave yourselves, but not too much.